From Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Engineering firm Bosch Rexroth South Africa Group of Companies held its first customer day last month at its new location named High Tech United by Bosch, or Hub, in Kempton Park in Gauteng. Mamaili Mamaila tells us more. Bosch Rexroth Group Executive President and CFO Dr. Marcus Forschner says the company moved into the hub to set the highest standards in the industry. Bosch Rexroth customers benefit from multi-technology solutions all under one roof, while the customer day is proof of its customer-oriented approach. The group showcased its numerous modern engineering and production facilities that have been the heart of the group's operation for the past year. I think this, this day was a really special day. Yeah. It was really unique, yeah, because at least for uh, uh, Bosch Rexroth South Africa, it was the first customer day and I think it was much better than doing an exposition yeah, or an exhibition because we have here our facilities yeah, and we have here also the special spirit of these new facilities and I have the feeling that the customers highly appreciate it. Working demonstrations of the various technologies and systems offered by the group, in addition to a large collection of products and components from about 30 of the international brands which it represents across Africa, were on show at the company's assembly areas. Forschner highlights that one of the areas that the company has gained momentum in recent years is the training solutions which it offers to employees who are the heart of the organization. I think we already have a um, very good educational program. We have a staff of 900 employees. And you know, the education is a very important uh, fundament for our success. Yeah. That means uh, we are developing our employees. We give them a decent salary and we, uh, we really give them chances to develop and to make a career. Yeah. And you know, we have different sorts of trainings. Of course, the focus is uh, technical training because we have the clear ambition to be the innovation and technology leader in the market. Bosch Rexroth continues to invest in new locations in Africa and is building up local value add activities such as the repair of pumps, motors, hydraulic cylinders for operations in the larger part of the region. Yes, we invested a lot already here in, 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 in South Africa. Yeah. Um, and we are planning uh, building up also new activities in other regions. It's mainly Botswana, it's Ghana, it's uh, Kenya, and it's uh, also Morocco. Uh, and what we do there, we build up local value-add activities, mainly in repair of pumps, motors and hydraulic cylinders. And this adds to our already existing, already established locations and activities we already have in Namibia, Zambia, and in, uh, uh, in Mozambique. Yeah. But the most important point is wherever our customers want us, wherever we see business uh, opportunities, we are ready to serve them. Other news making headlines. The South African National Blood Service has announced plans to use drone technology to transport blood from blood banks to hospitals in rural areas. Natasha Odendahl tells us more. The Tron unmanned aerial vehicle, a South African first, is currently preparing to undergo proof of concept to secure a license from the South African Civil Aviation Authority. The highly specialized aircraft features the handling capabilities of helicopters and the efficient aerodynamics of aeroplanes. It is capable of flying at an altitude of 100 meters to hospitals as far away as 100 kilometers, delivering up to four units or two kilograms of life-saving blood. SANBS CEO Dr. Jonathan Lowe speaks to Engineering News about this new initiative. As the South African National Blood Service, we can't have a blood bank in every single small city or town. And often what happens, for example, in postpartum hemorrhage, these are healthy, fit young women that are giving birth and something goes wrong. They have a retained placenta or something like that and they start to hemorrhage. We have to get life-saving blood to them very, very quickly. And we found that the maternal mortality rate from postpartum hemorrhage in South Africa is quite high. We've been looking uh, and working together with Department of Health uh, in an effort to address this. So this drone program, I think, is truly unique in the sense that we have an aircraft that can take off like a helicopter, fly like a plane and land like a helicopter. This gives us the ability to do true two-way logistics. So we don't just take O negative blood, which is the universal blood type, to patients that need it. We're able to take that patient's blood sample back to the blood bank 
accurately cross-match it and give them blood that is absolutely fit for their purpose. So for deeply rural areas and also in terms of just the cost effectiveness of this uh, program, the cost of transporting blood uh, via this uh, particular method is the cost of electricity. The aircraft that you saw um, flies at literally a couple of hundred kilometers is going to cost you 10 rand. So it really, really is a highly efficient and new form of, of technology that I think with the Department of Health and the Civil Aviation Authority we are embracing to try to save lives. After a drone task team spent six months researching the best possible fit, the SANBS partnered with Munich-based Quantum Systems which designed the drone. The SANBS is working with the SACAA on the license process as the drone is a hybrid model between a helicopter and an aeroplane. The parties are undertaking a proof of concept process which comprises a flight of 9 kilometers from Seba King Hospital Blood Bank and Kopenang Hospital in Vereniging. We've been in collaboration with the Civil Aviation Authority since last year. What's unique about this aircraft is it's neither a helicopter nor a plane. So it's a bit of chicken and egg. We actually had to build the aircraft um, get it flying and then bring it to South Africa which is what we've done in the last week so that the Civil Aviation Authority can have a good look at it. Um, that cascades once you have the vehicle that obviously cascades the full ROC or, 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 or uh, journey to get a, a full license. So what we also want to show the Civil Aviation Authority and Department of Health is that this can be done safely and effectively and we will be doing that in the proof of concept so it's just two drones that we've bought we're going to be flying at one particular site and we're going to fly as many times as is required to give the CAA the comfort. Once the license has been obtained the plan will be to expand the project across South Africa and into rural areas in KwaZulu-Natal, the Eastern Cape and the Western Cape. That's Cream Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.